As they materialize in the transporter room, Burnham notices that Saru appears distraught. No. Yeah. Kind of odd, huh? <laughs> Just as the computer signals a yellow alert and calls them to the bridge. The Ba'ul claim that they have taken something that belongs to them, Saru, and that Starfleet have promised not to interfere with the internal affairs of their planet. Detmer then reports that the Ba'ul sentry ships are on an intercept course, and Pike orders a red alert. The Ba'ul question whether Pike would risk his own people for one Kelpian, to which Pike points out that that Kelpian is one of his people. Uh, yeah, plus um, those those starships, or those ships that they have, um, look way more advanced to only be 20 years old-ish. Yeah, <laughs> they, there were a lot of things about the visuals with the Ba'ul people in specific that make them look like they should be like an ancient, ancient, ancient spacefaring race. Saru silently enters a turbo lift and goes to the lower decks. As the crew scrambles to their station, Saru goes to the transporter room and relieves the transporter officer on duty and sets the transporter to a time delay. So, at this point, he's planning to beam himself over to the Ba'ul, it would appear. Yeah, yeah. I kept thinking, like, man, Saru, don't do that. I don't want you to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um, You know, just stepping outside the episode for a minute, I kind of wondered if that's we were where we were headed with this. Well, that's what I thought when I originally watched it, for sure. Yeah. I was like, man, I really like Saru. Please don't go, bud. <laughs> yeah. So Burnham follows him in there, and knowing what he's planning to do, and tells him to get off the transporter pad. Saru starts getting all belligerent and hyphy on her. Uh, demanding to know what Burnham would do if he didn't. In response, Burnham, <laughs> I don't know why Burnham doesn't say, hey, you remember when I killed our captain? <laughs> uh, Burnham points a phaser at him, telling him she didn't want to use it, but that Saru was not thinking clearly. Well, come on, she didn't kill the captain. She just stunned her, I think. I, I right? know, I know, but my version gets funnier, okay? <laughs> <laughs> she points out that he's not thinking clearly, to which Saru points out he's never thought more clearly in his life. Which is what somebody who's not thinking clearly would say. Absolutely. <laughs> you, are you okay to drive? Oh, great. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with me because alcohol affects your judgment. Not mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> no, I'm so good. It's super good. I'm, I'm, I'm better when I'm drunk, I promise. Yeah, yeah, I promise. I swear. I swear. I'm a better driver. And then he asks if she would not do the same for her brother, which uh, leads her to lower her phaser and he get transports away. She is so easy to get with some questions, you know. Well, well, She's like, if, yeah, you're right. I've yeah. done the same thing. What Damn if it, it was Spock? And, oh, you've mentioned him. I can't. <laughs> I have no defense for this move. My one weakness. Well, she normally doesn't have a defense for the sometimes irrational things she does in the name of... Uh, Sticking up for somebody else. Yeah, this is true. She's yeah. she's a complex <laughs> character. She's a very complex character. Uh, Owo detects that the transporter is activated and that Burnham confirms that it was Saru surrendering himself to the Ba'ul 